eleven, eleven, eleven. The letters approach to the best understanding and meditation of this particular moment of the history of mankind. As this universe is built in so many and infinite levels and actors, it's a great privilege to be awakened, to participate with full consciousness or with the utmost consciousness in these moments when some kind of globalization of a momentum can happen. 12, 12, 12 is so a open space, a open time to awaken more your being and to establish more connections, invisible connections and visible connections by your contemplation and by your action. So let us understand better what means the eleven one one in a certain way we can say that it is really a founding day, a foundation day. And one is the origin, the primordial manifestation of the Absolute. This one can be called God. And to this primordial being from the infinite Absolute Spirit, we bow. And in this day, we open more our heart to Him and to be opening our heart means also to be opening our potential to make this connection, this vertical connection within ourselves with the spiritual and divine levels. Meditation is the art of establishing the connections, opening the channels, becoming more awakened and feel our, how our soul and consciousness are not limited by the physical body. And so these 11, 11, 11 and especially at 11 in the morning or at 11 in the night or at 1 in the morning, 1 in the afternoon are right moments to make your meditation stronger and to feel the other people also doing the same and your expansion of conscious, your love, your power of the spirit will be enhanced, it will be intensified. It will be surely a great moment in the invisible realms as we can awaken more ourselves and open more channels to the spiritual earth that is in the planet and surrounds the planet where are living and being the masters, the guides, the angels. So our meditation is also an opening space, become, becoming really a, encircling bigger and bigger and opening our beings to their blessings.
we invoke these blessings, the blessing of our angel, our guardian angel, this lovely being who is with us all the time. And through him, our prayers, our aspiration, ascend to God. Or, if we pray for others, they are sent and conducted for them. So let us feel gratitude and love for our angel, for the angels, and be one moment in that awareness, opening really our hearts. Feel that you are connecting the sky and the planet, art and sky, the celestial realm and the human realm and natural realm. You are an axis mundi, an axis uniting them both through your vertebral column and breathe in the higher blessings to your aspiration to become a vessel, a grail of the divine blessings. Breathe in deeply, retain that energy and then send it as love for all beings and be some minutes in this breathing the blessings and the light and the love be on that you are that Become more centered in your heart, your spiritual heart, in the center of the chest. Feel that area. Feel your essential being as a fire. And in these moments you are awakening it through the connections and intention and the sharing it. Open really the door of your heart. Enter into this wondrous world where time and space lose their limitations and where you can have communion with the spirits, with the beings and with divine being. So this divine being we bow
May the blessings descend upon mankind. May all manifestations of God, all the faces of God, whatever religion or tradition, may the, be them kind to us. May we be open to them. May we manifest them. Let us feel that we are one, mankind, in a one universal religion, the true love religion, meaning religion is to bind together, to have communion by the inner levels of awareness that the divine being as the primordial one is one and it manifests in different forms and traditions and practice and religions but we can worship the divine being in all these religions and traditions we don't have to be closed in one religion fighting against the others. No. We are all brothers and sisters. We are all brothers and sisters, friends, beings in search of happiness and love. All we are on that. And religion should be a path to the deeper levels of love, the love of the origin, the love of love, the love of God. So let us pledge ourselves to be more and more of the one, 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 one universal religion that binds all religions in the love so much expressed by masters as Rumi, Vivlana Rumi, and Sham of Tabriz, or Jesus and Saint John, or so many others like Krishna, like Shaitanya, like Ramakrishna, or like the Taoist masters, or the Shinto Mikos and Shaman and Kanushi, or priests, or the Asidins of the Hebrew tradition or Guru Nanak and his disciples and gurus that follow him or in the realm of the Buddhist as compassion as so many masters have outgrown these qualities and in the old pagan religions of nature, of sky, how much love was also there. So let us welcome whole religions in a true sense of communion and not competition. And one, one, one is also eleven. Eleven is according to the Western tradition of Tarot, the strength where the women has the capacity to hold and to open the mouth of the lion. This meaning awaken of the inner self, awakening of the inner energies. That is what we are trying to do today. And so we are going another time to meditate deeply on that awareness after having sending these energies of unity of religions we are going to open our channels to connect the sky and the earth we will feel more the vertebral column as a channel a open channel and you will be breathing 
the blessings and radiating them. Be on that. Let us come back another time to the awareness of the art. Let us open it really to all the universe. Let us feel our awareness, our conscious spreading this light and love going out of our body limitation and becoming more extended. Let us embrace other beings in a expanded state of consciousness. Let us breathe the energies and feel the opening of the heart and that you are not limited to the body, that you are being and awareness is not just from the body, but you are a spirit, with a spiritual body. So let us raise our spiritual body from feet to the top of the head and extending it out. Let us grow our awareness that you are spiritual beings and it's in 11, 11, 11. We are really working on making it more alive, this spiritual body and spiritual awareness. So enjoy and be in the love and light that you are meditating and invoking and sharing. Be on that uh, amor. Amor, Prema, Bhakti Prema, Amor, Amore, Amur. Concentrate now in your spiritual high, the level of your eyes, and from here have aspiration for the light. Ask the light of God his inspiration, his blessings. Let us dive deep 
in the light of God, in his colors. Let us receive in us and let us receive in the planet this light, these energies and qualities. Feel all the softness and poetry and art that mankind is capable of capacity to produce and is creating all the time and has done in all times. Feel this radiance that can emanate from mankind. And from that awareness, let us become also creators and co-creators of this harmony, call it cosmos. Let us draw by the breathing and by the inner awareness the ideas, the archetypes, the energies, the Baharak, the Kaji of the Shinto, the graces of the Renaissance tradition, the inspirations, the Holy Spirit. Now keep your own meditation, going to finish, I invoke another time the blessings of God and that your heart may become open and wide open and your spiritual eye and your top of your head become more open receiving that energies in all your body and soul and becoming a good will in action, in intelligent action for the betterment of mankind. May we all be brothers and sisters and lovers of love, lovers of God, in communion with the masters and angels. And trying to make a whole society more harmonious, more just, more fair, more equilibrated. So, let us continue our meditations, breathing the blessings of God through this channel of 11, 11, 11, and with the arms and hands, renunciating blessing everywhere with gratitude. Om Musho Hayo 
Shinto Kaji Om Kyom Om Tatsat Om Tatsat Om Amen <laughs>